Now these podocytes are epithelial cells, just like these epithelial cells that were lining Bowman space. And let's for one second review what exactly is an epithelial cell. Well, an epithelial cell is a cell that is lining some tube or lining some cavity. So here I'm drawing some epithelial cells and the idea is that they are lining this hole here. And so they have two different sides. They have the side that's against the hole, that's facing the hole, and then they have the side that's facing what's out here, which is usually normal tissue. So out here you might have some other cells. But one thing you always have out here is what we call the basement membrane. And so that's this thing that's a lot of protein, it's a lot of collagen, and it sits sort of underneath these epithelial cells. So anytime you have epithelial cells, you will see this thing called a basement membrane. Basement membrane. And since these podocytes are epithelial cells, well, we're going to have a basement membrane beneath them. And it turns out that this, this thing is really important, so we actually give it a special name. We don't just call it a basement membrane, we call it a glomerular basement membrane. And it's often abbreviated GBM. And actually, it's not only epithelial cells that have basement membranes, actually endothelial cells also do. So here I'll draw some endothelial cells lining a blood vessel, so in here you may have some red blood. And so this basement membrane here, the glomerular basement membrane, is also maintained by these endothelial cells that would also have a basement membrane around them. Now this will take a while to stick. This anatomy is actually quite complicated and we're going to talk about it more. But one important thing to realize here, one result of this structure is that for something to get from the capillary to Bowman space. So in other words, for something to be filtered, it needs to go through three layers. First, it needs to get through the endothelial cell. Then it needs to get through the GBM, as we call it. And then it needs to get through the foot processes of the podocytes.